Hi there guys, welcome to the jungle, coming at you with another video today. Today we're going to be talking about the Tanzanian Red Claw Scorpion or Pandanus Cavimanus. Now, if you were to be walking through the jungles of uh, Tanzania in uh, Africa, you might come across these guys around, uh, around the, the forest floor, in leaf litter, under bits of wood, just like my little fella is here. Now, if I just... Uh, Grab these little tongs here, I'll uh, clear things up a bit so that we can actually see this little guy. As you can see, typical defensive behaviour of any scorpion, especially the red claws. Um, they're great beginner species, but they are uh, a little bit more feisty than, say, their uh, cousins, the emperor scorpions. Um, albeit still a great species to keep. Very easy as well, very simple setup. Um, as you see, I've got this guy in a, in a shoebox from, from Asda, believe it or not. Um, it's an 11 litre shoebox, plenty of room for this little fella. Um, it's got about 2-3 inches of substrate in there, so a mix of moss and cocoa fibre. And then very simple furnishings. Bit of, bit of cork bark there for him to hide under. And if you just lay that flat, as you can see, he's made himself a nice little burrow underneath there that he'll spend most of the time of the day hiding the window there. And that's more or less all you need. Um, I've added some some leaf litter here just for a bit of decoration and just a bit of somewhere else for this little guy to hide and just kind of rummage around in. Um, nice little pothos plant which does help with humidity um, as well as holding things together when this guy's making burrows. Um, there's also a small water dish just by here but uh, this guy tends to just dig around a lot and kind of scoop that out and oh, it's a nightmare. Anyway... These guys do really great. Um, in captivity, you can expect these guys to live for about eight years, eight years max or so. Um, room temperature, they will do fine. They'll just possibly be a little bit more inactive. Um, it, you know, advisably, you maybe want a small heat mat on there, bump the temperatures to around 25 degrees. You don't really want to be going any higher than, say, 30 degrees Celsius. Um, otherwise you could um, kill your scorpion um, temperature is pretty easy if you've got them in a plastic tub like this spray it once a week once every other week it'll be fine especially with a deep substrate when they make their burrows they're going to have localized humidity spots underneath the substrate um, but as long as you're keeping it around 75-80% it's fine as you can see the substrate here is quite dry but as I said um, down in that burrow the humidity will spike up quite a bit um, but I will be spraying this within the, the next few days just to kind of give it a boost again. Um, feeding these guys, very simple. As babies, you could feed them every other day, twice a week, on a proper sized meal, and they'll be just fine. These guys, you could feed them once a week, but they're really not going to mind if you miss out on a feed um, and you don't give them a meal for, you know, they could easily survive on a meal once a month. You know, they really don't need it. Um, but, you know, once a week, perfectly adequate for these guys. Um, hey, as I said, these guys are um, closely related to the, the Emperor Scorpion, which um, is regarded as one of the best beginner species. Um, unfortunately, they're very hard to find in the hobby now due to them not being exported anymore from Africa. Anyway, these, these guys, um, still great option. I quite like the, the red coloration on the claws there. Um, they're slightly smaller than the emperors, getting about four, between three and a half, four and a half inches in full length. Um, but and they're a little bit more aggressive. But apart from that, very similar, very easy to care for, and in my opinion, absolutely stunning. You can't go wrong with any scorpion, really. Um, so yeah, that's just a, a quick little video on a my Tanzanian red claw. I'll just put this back there away so that he feels, you know, doesn't really want to kill me as he probably does right now um but yeah anyway thanks for watching guys um and we hope to see you soon on the next one